All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and we are up to Cloud World number three twenty-five, I think. And uh, I think thank you to the one person that subscribed. I mean, I didn't even really check this at uh, that much on my uh, YouTube studio thing in the back end because dive slits YouTube, so. Obviously, I'm not thrilled to be using it because of all the censorship stuff. But for now, there's really no choice. So anyway, I wound up sleeping pretty late last night. And then I couldn't sleep. You know, too much energy. Uh, also, just think about all this uh, cryptocurrency stuff and then the game and, you know, all, all, all that buzzing stuff. So, you know, I wound up waking up at like 9.40 a.m. And right now it's 11 a.m. Uh, so, you know, plus I then have to do my daily, uh, you know, morning routine, the, you know, video game maintenance, and then, you know, you know burn up all my energy. And of course, you know, uh, maintain all the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, cryptocurrency stuff, you know, combine some blocks if I need to start sending a little bit of money to exchanges, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, a little late, a little late. Um. But I was actually listening to Nick Fuentes' uh, thing yesterday, and then he was, you know, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a bit concerned about that whole China coronavirus thing, and it's like just kind of reminds me of like, you know, why God curses us conservatives with like liberals, and then when liberals get too crazy, then they get cursed with with the same said conservatives, and on and on the cycle goes. Uh, which really just makes me kind of disappointed that I can't actually do my bit shoot political videos because I actually can bridge the gap. Uh, but the problem is people don't like hearing the truth. They just want to hear what they want to hear. So uh, what do you do? And then if you try to actually tell the truth, you know, regardless of where it takes you, right? You know, then the left gets mad and then you get banned. Then the right gets mad at you. And then, well, they could try to get you banned, but nobody likes the right right now. <laughs> So it basically winds up being like uh, if you play that game Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, in that game, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you start out with just being neutral and a no-buy, but by the end of the game, everybody in the game hates you <laughs> after you've worked with everybody and, uh, you know, helped them out and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that, that's basically what winds up happening, but, you know, uh, and, and then the people in between, the independents are like, you know, what the hell is this shit, you know, and they're like, oh, what do we do? So, uh, I don't know, it's going to be something I'll have to, going forward, try to figure out how to address, especially now that, uh, you know, basically my restriction is I cannot do political videos. At least not overly political, overtly political uh, videos. And it's uh, very aggravating, very aggravating, because, again, an example, uh, Nick wants to just basically do a China travel ban, which actually kind of makes sense, right? You got people flying in and out of China. Right now there's a pandemic or whatever. Uh, but, you know, you can't just flat out do a travel ban, right? I mean, at least with the, like, the Muslim travel ban, you know, that you could make a better argument with that because we didn't get as much economic activity from the Middle East, right? Um, but, you know, we, you know it, still, it still was, like, you know, much more difficult to uh, implement. I mean, it was, Trump was more willing to implement that, right? But if you do a travel ban with China, well, there's a lot of problems you're going to have. You're actually, and, you know, Nick did actually address this, all right? You know, it's going to cause economic issues. Yeah, it actually will cause a severe economic issue. Uh, like, it's, it's a lot worse than you realize. Because not only is the world very globalized, you know, that's why the cryptocurrency is such a big deal. But you can't just randomly, you know, just shut things down. Like, in the past, you could kind of do that because the populations were lower and we were less globalized. But today, you know, you shut you shut down someone big. Uh, well, guess what? You know, everybody loses their job here in America, and you know, jobs are already at a premium. <laughs> so you actually wind up causing a lot more trouble than uh, than, than you think you're than, than you think you're uh, solving. And then again, uh, what happens? You know, I'm trying to just restart my stupid Star Wars game. It crashed on me again. Uh, what was I saying? Um, but uh, whatchamacallit, here's the thing, we know about the virus, we obviously have much better medical technology than we ever had before, and three, we're screening for everybody, so, you know, you know, everyone's just, like, paranoid and shit, because, like, A, of the past, you know, it's a natural human fear, and number two, people are jacked up on watching Hollywood movies and TV shows and shit, right, you know, there, there's a reason why I don't actually watch zombie survival horror uh, movies or shows like The Walking Dead or whatever, because, 
it makes you paranoid and like it gets and i get very annoyed when people you know translate that paranoia to the real world so you know you actually just you're like it's just really bad uh but with that being said it's easy to screen we obviously quarantine everybody and you know uh much more color they're clean yeah they get to go back right you know at least in, in this case they get to go back to america or wherever they're actually from you know and then there was also a little bit of talk of uh you know, if they're infecting in China, just leave them there, right? But even if they're American citizens, um, I think Nick Fuentes did back off of that. So he didn't mention that in the replay. But, I mean, they're American citizens. And if they're American citizens, if possible, I actually want them to, you know, obviously quarantine and treat it here in America because they're fucking American citizens, right? If I was stuck in the middle of somewhere, I want to be flown back here to America, preferably New York City, so I can get whatever shit that I'm infected with uh, treated. And if you have family members, you would want the exact same thing, right? I don't want them rotting in some foreign country that I may or may not like, right? And then I don't know how good their medical tech is, right? I mean, unless it's really good, right? Then I wouldn't mind, of course. But for the most part, I want them flown back here, right? You know, and anybody would, you know, uh, feel the same way. You know? So, you know, so now, now people are like, yeah, I just leave them there. It's like, no, you can't, you can't do that. You know, it's, uh, it's very... Uh, it's like the most important being a citizen, right? I mean, I'm better off just being an illegal alien. Then I just come to America, hop over the non-existent border wall down south, and get free medical care for life. <laughs> it's like, it's like you know, people have to be consistent with their thoughts. So anyway, uh, the good news is crypto doesn't seem to be overly affected by the stupid coronavirus shit, and I cannot wait for it to finally, like, you know, uh, die off, right? So people would stop being fucking paranoid about it. Equity markets are down uh, a little bit, somewhat, all right? You know, CAN is actually going up despite that. So this is good. This is what we want. I know we're jumping around a little bit, but, uh, you know, right now I just got... I mean, again, since I can't do political shit, you know, I just turned this into, like, a hybrid. Uh, Virginia declaration is considered as toll rises, okay? Uh, 8,200 confirmed cases, cruise ship of 6,000. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, quarantine Americans who decide if it's a public health thing. U.S. needs to stop panicking and be being hysterical about the coronavirus. Oh, yeah, so I've said this before. Um, I mean, now that I don't do political videos, a lot of people are, might be speculating. <clears throat> Some people are speculating that uh, the globalists have to keep this clean. So deep state, the globalists, they actually want this virus to spread. Well, there's only one problem with that, right? Uh, and I talked about this before I had to shut down or hide my BitChute channel. The globalists, yeah, they don't like us and they want to, like, you know, wipe out... Uh, hmm, can I even say that on my YouTube? They want to wipe out a certain race of people in America, a, a certain majority. Uh, but, you know, they actually don't want something like this because if there is actually a pandemic and the virus spreads like crazy, you know what's actually going to happen, right? Mass panic, mass hysteria. So <clears throat> the globalists, they're all about having control. What do you think? It, do you think the same globalists that are in control of the American government and the world governments are going to be able to control the population if everyone's panicking and dying literally from this plague? Of course not. They're going to be like, fuck that, right? You know, because when because what's going to happen? You're going to be 100% fully truthful. You're 100% going to behave like a hardcore right-wing person because you have to. Because if you don't, you die. And you have dead bodies in front of you. In fact, maybe even loved ones. You're going to go fucking crazy, right? You know, it's like everyone's going to be at each other's throats. All right? The globalists lose total control over everything. So all that shit about TV and watching news, no one's going to do any of that. They're literally going to pick up guns get food and whatever and become a prepper right because that's what you have to do right because there's a global there's a there's a global fucking pandemic shit going on right and you know millions of people are dying so the globalists don't want that all right so that's why they're actually you know checking for shit all right so of course uh you know they decide to quarantine a ship of six thousand people uh, this is actually a very good thing because you want people to be quarantined and then scanned and then once they're clear because right now the clear rate is like 99%, right? You know, out of like 182 like investigative cases, only five were infected or something. So, so like most people don't actually get the virus, all right? So yeah, I mean, so it is actually true. You don't want to be you know panicking because this will actually cause a lot more problems, 
All right, you can panic when it's after it's too late, but not before. Uh, let's see. American is trying to see I'm going to like something out of a sci-fi movie. Oh, okay. I actually want to read this offline. All right, so yeah, so people are getting paranoid. Uh, Chinese people are also getting kind of worried that like people are, um, yeah. What? Shield is down for this site. That's weird. Do I not enable this this thing for uh, here? Uh, huh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Chinese people are starting to get worried. Like, oh, are people just gonna randomly accuse us of having the virus? Believe it or not, you know, so far that hasn't happened. But you know, I'm, I live in New York City, so and I, I mostly stay indoors. But it's also dumb because obviously, if you have the virus, you're not gonna be allowed to walk around in New York City. You're gonna be immediately quarantined and shit. So trust me, like we have systems in place to check for this shit. So, you know, it's like, it's, it's just overblown, right? You know, um, so some of the right wing people I follow, like Roosh, are like, well, you know, it's, you know, it's like if the things panic in the cities, it's all over. It's like, yeah, of course, but you know, you walk out and get hit by a lightning or a car or something. It's really overblown. All right. If I would get worried if they were doing nothing. All right. And there was no quarantines, there was no investigations, and there were no like screenings at airports, right, you know, or ports of entry. Then I would actually get worried because then it's like, okay, yeah, we actually are going to get infected. But we're not, you know. They're already scrambling, right? And the reason why they're trying not to, you know, go too crazy with the info is because they know that, like, people are going to get scared, right? It's just like when I was uh, researching how to make my game, right? I was looking up cheating because that's going to be my number one problem throughout my code development. My second biggest problem will be coding, obviously. So, you know, uh, there was a thing where he said, if you ban, if you tell people you're banning to uh, like 200 people, then people will, then your players will complain that, oh, you're not doing enough to stop cheating. It's like, oh, what the hell? And then you tell people, okay, we ban like 50,000 cheaters. Mm -hmm. And then the, your video game player base will say, oh my God, everyone is cheating. There's so many cheaters. I might as well cheat myself. <laughs> and, and then it's like basically whatever you say, it doesn't help. It's like everyone just decides to just take the black pill, negative Nancy, ultra negative point of view, right? The glass half empty thing. Instead of just looking at it as a glass half full thing, which is what I always teach. So that's what uh, they're trying to do with the coronavirus now. So anyway, crazy shit going on in the crypto markets, but it's basically staying the same or going up, right? So that's all we care about. Uh, right now, Bitcoin interest is at five for this week still. So basically, the normies have just absolutely no interest in crypto. 24-hour volume is 110.2 billion, so it's pretty healthy. Bitcoin dominance is at 66.1%. Bitcoin has still kind of been flatlining around 93 to 9400, but it looks like it's getting ready to go past 9400 again, so that's very good. Bitcoin Cash and SV seem to have finally quieted down, so it looks like they're finally every, all the cryptos are catching up. And then Litecoin has jumped up 9% to $65.71. So Litecoin was actually not going up when it was supposed to. Like Bitcoin was going up, but Litecoin was going down a little bit slightly or just not going up much. So Eventually, uh, all cryptocurrencies will reach the point that they're really supposed to be worth, and they're all tied together. And of course, Bitcoin's leading the ship. So, uh, so yeah, it was only a matter of time before Litecoin caught up to Bitcoin's increase, and I'm, you know, this is pretty healthy, nine percent. So uh, yeah, now it's uh, sixty-six bucks essentially. So it's, it's very good. Uh, Dogcoin, on the other hand, though, seems to be having problems. Started to exhibit more signs of like Steam and like 404 and whatever, the exotics. So that could be uh, potentially a problem, which is why I actually. Uh, and this is, and Dogcoin also did the same thing in the past, too, which is why I chose Litecoin over Dogcoin. So I still recommend that, and I probably always will until obviously something changes, and then, you know, I change my mind. But anyway, Dogcoin's at 295 million, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, Steam is at 16.41 cents, so not a whole lot of changes there. So I don't know what it is, but it looks like people just don't like proof of stake coins, which is uh, quite unfortunate. So it looks like CAN's up to $5.80, so it's finally going up, so very nice. Um, no options yet. Mm. Ah. God, I don't want to get hiccups later. So JMC is technically at two to three, but it actually went as high as four today. So we have some fours here. Uh, so there's just a lot of buying activity, more so than normal for JMC, but still kind of crappy. But at least the sell 
the cell pressure is you know easing up like just a little bit all right so uh it's gonna be suffering for quite some time uh four or four coins also uh, i think i said this yesterday uh is definitely going to be getting hit harder all right and of course it already has been getting hit so it's basically at 13 to 15 or 16. um the sell side's at least getting weaker but i can already tell that people really don't really want to buy four or four coin so um uh what you about call it let's see i don't know we're, we're just gonna have to see what happens later today um because the major cryptos didn't really go up that much so i think maybe people are still afraid right and obviously the normies are not buying anything or in fact it's at five so uh yeah like this this fucking coronavirus bullshit is like really starting to uh i don't know i say it pissed me off but really starting to annoy me all right because you know uh because as long as people are afraid guess what prices don't really go up as much as they should and for a four uh four or four coins case People aren't buying it up like they would normally do if they were not afraid of the crazy coronavirus shit. But, I mean, well, I mean, black swan events happen. So it's just, well, no, it's, it just happens. Two by two coins at 58, 57 to 67 or so. So it's, it's still doing pretty well. So not too bad. Uh, dog, uh, dog coin. Uh, compound coins still hovering at 4140 to like 5,000 ish or 5,400 Satoshis of a dog coin. Yeah, just really not much activity. Um, and yeah, no, there's really no buying activity because again, dead coin inactive Omega Lull. Uh, but with that being said, compound coins still operating at a 250 uh, APR uh, per year uh interest rate and it's got like a supply let's see compound coin explorer let's see so i haven't checked their supply in a long time uh let's see i think this one is the one uh, nope you better not be showing my fucking ip address uh what do you guys see all right not All right, I really need to make sure it's not showing my stupid IP address. All right, very good, very good. Okay, all right, let's try. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Um, what, they can't get it working? Oh yeah, wait a minute. I have my own uh, compound coin explorer. That's hilarious, that's right. Uh, see, that's why I have, um, there's an error in console. No, I guess we don't care about that. There's a reason why uh, we have a backup, and yeah, looks like. Uh, I guess uh, I guess Mitch will have to go into this one. I wish I kind of knew how to do it, so Mitch doesn't have to, you know, deal with this stupid shit. All right, so this is not correct. All right, so let me go into my debug window console. Um, get info the supply is now set to negative so okay let's see this was 93 so i'm guessing there's like a couple hundred billion coins compound coin yeah but either way i'm thinking about what's to me what's going to be the future of uh two by two by two coin 404 coin especially 404 coin because it's going to eventually approach uh this kind of vector so um yeah, so I mean, basically on Crex, yeah, we're probably going to have to reduce the bid price, probably, maybe even possibly two decimal points. I'm kind of just hoping we're not going to have to do that for a while, but uh, if people, if, if this fucking virus doesn't fucking go away anytime soon, you know, well, you know, it's, <laughs> it is what it is, right? But, you know, uh, we'll eventually uh, just go back up, hopefully. I mean, it really should. It's supposed to, but again, like the, the the fucking fear is just so extreme and it's so annoying. Which is in, which is interesting because you know that just shows how strong the bull market wants to go. Um, so what 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 wants to give the all clear signal for the coronavirus stupid bullshit? Uh, I think that'll be right around the time that Bitcoin's gonna halve, so we're gonna have a very nice torpedo upwards. Of course, that also will still stuff for four four coin. Because that also means like people will just keep dumping more four four coins just to uh, uh, what you might call it, get more Bitcoin, right? But uh, oh well, you know, the, 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 
like the I mean I've said this before I'll say it again the cycle basically goes the the altcoins go down especially the exotics and then basically when there's a pause in Bitcoin and Litecoin in the majors it's during that pause and people want to do profit taking that they then go back into the exotics like 404 so it's a very long cycle it'll wait but yeah anyway uh Google removes Bitcoin blast from Play Store after several whatever so why are they censoring this uh google has suspended our app from the play store we're a top ranking bitcoin rewards out with nearly 1.4 million users okay uh, okay uh you we see with often 100 few you like to get the suggestion and rule for now all the work was lost uh, Google suspension cited their deceptive behavior policy. The same reason they banned MetaMask weeks earlier. They did not say blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so Google really wants to just get rid of cryptocurrency apps. Uh, but you know what they thought was deceptive? Uh, they say they were not able to provide info or better answer your question. After that, they went dark. Initially, more that additional sort of any nature was an alternative developer account and uh, of Google related accounts. Wow. So they, so basically Google could not ban MetaMask because it was too big, so now they're going after smaller fish. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, well, I'm not sure what was... Let's see. Okay, so crypto community needs to work together. It's powerful and supportive. That is actually kind of true. Crypto companies should think about responsive customer support, transparency, uh, blah, 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 blah. Business risk. Companies should refrain from doing all their business at Google since Google reserves the right to shut down all your blah, blah, blah. Well, that's why, that's why, you know, like, you know, when I used to do political stuff, right, you know, we were always complaining, you know, conservatives getting banned, right? And all the left wing people were laughing. Well, this is what's going to, this is what always fucking happens, all right? So maybe you shouldn't be uh, for censorship no matter what, right? Don't be a stupid fucking asshole. But, uh, well, they said they could resubmit the app, so. Let's see. What is the name of their app? Do they even mention it here? Uh, we launched in May. What the hell? Bitcoin Blast. So what the fuck is Bitcoin Blast? Problem is, it's probably off. Uh, you have a boot of the Bitcoin. So it's a Bitcoin rewards game. Uh, okay. Okay, so I think the only thing I can think of Bitcoin Blast on the App Store. No, this is App. This may not be the same one. So I think maybe. So maybe what it is is Bitcoin Blast has you filling out surveys or some shit like that, and then some people do the work and then they don't get rewarded, right? And then Bitcoin Blast says you did not, you did not fulfill the thing, and then enough of those, um, enough of those complaints pile up and then bitcoin and then google's like yeah fuck this uh fuck this app that's all i think i may possibly think of um uh let's see it's written by chinese people it looks like so that yeah, works for me uh black box uh thank you for playing i like it okay uh, yeah i mean I, i'm not sure because obviously i can't download the app because it's Band, so I can, can't take a look, but that's something I can think of. Like, like uh, when you fill out those other, sir, uh, like those other similar apps, but they use U.S. dollars. Hmm. The reason why Google does not ban those is because uh, you already have it's already regulated. So if there's deceptive practices. As long as a company can show uh, that they follow the FCC rules or whatever trade rules. Then Google doesn't have to ban it. It's like, well, I mean, they all follow the rules. So, you know, sorry, we, you, you did not do the work. Well, with Bitcoin, because there's no regulatory framework, uh, yeah, and the Bitcoin, and then, you know, Google's like, yeah, fuck this. And then they just, <gasps> great, now I have the fucking hiccups. Yeah, now they're like, yeah, fuck this. And then they just ban all the Bitcoin stuff. Yeah. But the good news is, you know, uh, uh, cryptocurrency people, unlike uh, a lot of the conservative types, you know, they're much more open-minded, and they're much more likely to want to work together. So factionalism is not a problem. And so thus, you know, uh, Google will not be able to push cryptocurrency people around as easily as they could, say, the conservatives. 
So uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how, how that plays out. Um, but hopefully uh, Bitcoin Blast does get their shit back, but we'll have to see. Cryptocurrency strategist Tony Vay says, I am 99% positive Bitcoin will hit 100 grand once this happens. So Tony Vay's, I always hated his guts. Uh, even in previous videos, I always mentioned that he's always a piece of shit, and he still is. So I'm kind of curious to, say, to see why this asshole is saying this. Let's see. So Tony Vay's is still t scabbing his customers, telling the heels Bitcoin will suffer a major pullback before another long-term rally. This guy is like literally fucking retarded. He's been, literally been saying this for a long time, and it's already happened. He's just wrong. He continues to be wrong. Uh, let's see. Thirteen nine thousand. I just want to know. Okay, so. Okay, so he says if Bitcoin can breach or reach twenty thousand, the previous all-time high, then Bitcoin will definitely be a hundred grand afterwards. That's actually true. That's what always has happened, right? It's actually always true. So even this dumb fuck gets it right once in a while. As long as we can close above nine thousand, I become a bull for February. Am I ready to declare a bull market? No, we have a lower high. We have a higher low, but we need a higher high. Um. All right, so he's just all right. So I can tell that he's probably playing his cards more safely because probably because a lot of people are constantly telling him what an idiot he is. Right, let's just pause this stupid fuck. Um, okay, um, not sure. Tony, you're closed. You're not trading actually in your retirement account. It's fucking GBTC. Um, oh yeah, GBTC, I remember this, uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Wait a minute, I can buy this on the open market? Wait, 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 wait. I can buy this on the open market. Wait, I want to, oh shit, I can buy this on the open market? When the fuck did you do this? Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Oh my god, I think we finally have what we've been looking for. I've been, oh man, this is good. Uh, Max. Um, okay, let's see. It went as high as $29.66 at the bull run peak of the previous bull run. Oh. Oh. Please tell me you got options. Oh no, they don't have options. No, they don't have options. How do you not have options? Fuck. I had a feeling. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It might, it might have. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, you know what? All right. So, let's see. I have to. I have to add this to the save sessions. So we'll put this here. We'll put this over here because sometimes Brave just simply closes out all my windows and I can't restore it. So then I know I have to do it one by a time. All right, so we'll have these both open. Okay. Why does this not have options? It's obviously been out for more than three months. In fact, it's been well, actually, no. It became publicly available for like a month or two. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I think. Okay, so maybe that's actually why. All right, so, the, so technically, the public three month rule has not kicked in for uh grayscale bitcoin trust yet but this is definitely something we're going to be keeping an eye on now um because now because now we don't have to because we can do options on this we don't need uh ledger x done any, uh, anymore we'll just do the options uh through the stock market account yeah very good very good so i'm actually glad see this is why i do my bitcoin videos we learned something new all right even if i don't like somebody all right which is especially if i do not like somebody all right because if i didn't actually write this i wouldn't have god wouldn't have sent us the tony vase's channel then i read the comments like i usually do because i was looking for people to bash tony vase because they always do and then someone actually mentioned global grayscale bitcoin they're like what on the markets wait a minute i thought that was in a private thing and then, yeah now it's public and then here we go now 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 we can actually short the market at least i hope so all right so uh, we'll find out in a few months ah uh, this is good oh my god see aren't you glad that you actually listen to my ramblings all right so i just so i just hope that we can eventually translate into you know better profit for 404 coin otherwise you know we're gonna have to do a fucking coin swap on that uh and i'm not gonna be too thrilled but at least it'll save the coin 
Global crypto giant Binance expands fiat gateways for traders and investors in Norway and Norway and Croatia. All right, so we're not going to read this, but it's just you know, going very good headline because Binance, obviously the Sheng Pao Zhao guy, whatever his name is, the CEO of Binance. You know, he's a, he's a real go getter. So uh, he's really. You know, he's really doing a lot of uh, God's work in spreading cryptocurrency throughout the world. So, again, now Norway and Croatia can enter the cryptocurrency space and use actual uh, fiat to crypto. So that's the most important thing. Once you have that, then you have the complete cycle. Now cryptocurrency, is, it literally is as good as, uh, you know, U.S. dollars, euros, Japanese yen, wherever you guys happen to be living, all right, when you're watching this video. So it, it is 100% money at that point. So Mike says investment advisors will power the next wave of Bitcoin adoption as Bitcoin as billions flow into crypto infrastructure. Good, because we really do need more infrastructure. He was speaking at a conference in Miami on Wednesday. So I guess that's yesterday. That's yesterday. Um, let's see. The context, two-day summit, blah, blah, blah. With only 5% of endowments invest in Bitcoin. Nova Grad says that pensions are slow to move into an alternative asset. The tip... To tip the dial and propel Bitcoin to its full potential as the world's digital gold, the regard says you'll need more robust infrastructure. Okay, so when the so when the rich when the ultra rich people all jump into cryptocurrency, uh, then that will be the probably the last bull, easily predicted bull and bear market like we're having now, or it could be the second to last one, because usually bubbles like the dot com bust and the uh, the Great Recession of two thousand eight. Usually the bubbles always occur because not only are rich people doing it, but the normies are doing it. And right now the normies are obviously not even in the game, right? In fact, it's uh, uh, every single normie or just about every normie just hates Bitcoin right now, right? It's down to five right now, even though it's gotten so much better um, since a couple months now, I guess, right? So uh, we got plenty of room left to go before it's all over. Um... Bitcoin's total market cap is a grow. Billions of dollars in infrastructure have been made in the last few years to support Bitcoin's robust blah, blah, blah. And industry transact with billions in a daily liquidity. Progress on this front includes regulated custody, physical settled futures contracts, and regulated options contracts. Goldman Sachs, Fidelity, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the report concludes. Uh, okay, so we did a video on this yesterday. Goldman Sachs is investing in specifically in blockchain tech in China. So, okay, that's good. Report concludes that 2020 will see the acceleration of on ramps and infrastructure for institutional investors. Consumers also increase their use of Bitcoin for blah, 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 blah. More people are discovering investing in Bitcoin every day, open to all, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, and we don't need to download the full report. So, we need some kind of like. Uh, I would have used this, but the thing is, on YouTube, the default is white background, so I want some color contrast, so we'll use this. Alright, so before I close my thoughts, I'll just end it. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the file button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash, uh, the, where are we at? The Lemon Factor uh, BTC. Okay, hold on. Because um, because someone on the Discord told me about Nort Exchange, and I'm already talking with the guy who runs it. He's already uh, implementing uh, our coins for free. So it's not a big one. It's only it's actually really small, like 1.4 million Alexa ranking. But uh, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? He's already uh, you know working hard on listening to coins. So you know, hey, a free redundancy is is really good. So uh, you know we're and help each other out because that's what this is about because especially now that you know big tech you know uh, apple and google but for some reason google has a really big problem with cryptocurrency so uh but again i think in this particular case i think it's because people were doing the work for the bitcoin blast shit and they were not getting their rewards so they're reporting the app to google and then google finally is like you know what we don't we don't we don't need any more scrutiny from the guards so just shut this shit down we don't care um and on top of they're probably not as big, nearly as big as MetaMask. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, so we learned a lot today, right? A, don't be uh, crazy about the coronavirus, right? Because it's obviously hurt, hurt. It's just stupid, right? And of course, it's frustrating. 
Uh, two, we learned about Grayscale Bitcoin Trust actually going public. Um, so, because I think I tried looking this up before. Uh, and yeah, so I don't know. We'll just have to see if there's a, op, uh, an option for this. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, 404 Coin is going to continue to get uh, pounded up the ass. Uh, very badly, I might add. So we'll just see. Um, yeah, no one even wants to buy right now. F fear is in total control. Um, and uh, yeah, it just sucks. But everyone's still dogpiling the majors. So right now, people just want something stable. So I don't know. By the time I do come out with the game, I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Because now I'm actually thinking I might actually just accept JMC coin at that point because it's the because it's going to be the coin with the most stable price and the most stable uh, supply. And then we'll have to figure something out for 404 and 2x2 two two coin. Because for every one of these cryptocurrencies, I have to pay coinpayments.net 10,000 euros to list it for one year. And I have to pay an additional 10,000 euros uh, every year if the, daily vo if the monthly volume does not exceed uh, 5,000 euros a, a, a month. So basically it's a penalty for not having enough transaction volume. So it's like, oh, okay, you know, I, I got to really make sure that the game is good, that we get a, you know, good player base. And more importantly, once I implement, you know, coin payments app, right, we're going to start off slow, like maybe Monero and Litecoin, right? I want to see how many people actually buy, uh, buy the in-game tr microtransactions using uh, cryptocurrency, right? You know, like, if people, because like, that's how I'll know, right? If ten, if $10,000 a month worth of cryptocurrency transactions are working for Monero and Litecoin on, on my game, then, in that, then that's a very good indicator that, yes, we could probably expand the JMC 2x2 two two and 4x4 four by, four by four core. So, uh, and, and that's what we'll do. So, I don't know. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot for me to think about, but at least, you know, God, I'm still trying to figure out what God wants me to do. So, I think for now, we'll just create a game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that's where we're at. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This video is kind of longish, but oh well, you know it's uh, it's good. So anyway, enjoy uh, your day or night. I will see you on tomorrow's videos, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, Four Four Coin, and uh, oh yeah, and here is our thumbnail.